Welcome to Central's Library Media Center. Today I'm going to talk about Badger Link. It's one of our online resources. Badger Link is a project of the Department of Public Instruction Division for Libraries, Technology, and Community Learning. Its goal is to provide access to quality online information resources to Wisconsin residents in cooperation with the state's public, school, and academic libraries. BadgerLink contracts with eight vendors to provide access to full text information taken from magazines, journals, newspapers, reference materials, and other special sources. For example, the newspaper archive. The project is funded through the state's Universal Service Fund at over $2.2 million annually. You can access BadgerLink at any library in the state and add home through the library card link. EBSCO, one of the largest database providers in the United States, provides magazine databases for us here at BadgerLink. Teachers may especially find the database list helpful. Here there are over 30 databases of information on various topics, everything from health, or this first one, academic search, is very helpful for any academic papers you might be working on, business, education, Eric is here, a couple of different health databases, history reference center, Medline, the master file, military government, consumer reports, oh, and European views of the Americas. For our purposes at middle school, we like to access the Student Research Center. Nicely designed, you can search by keyword, you can go to advanced search, or search by topic on the left hand side. Also, I recommend checking on full text because some articles are listed with a citation only and then those articles have to be accessed through the public library. So to keep things simple, check full text. If you know a specific year you're looking for, you can also search that way. Helpful for us are the Lexile reading levels to find that just right article. Usually there's a spotlight feature for February, I see it's Black History Month, and then also top searches over on the other side. Um, it's helpful to either check all or uncheck all. For our purposes, we're going to do magazines, newspapers. I like to include video and TV because we may find interviews also. And I don't think, oh, maybe we'll try primary source also. So since it's Black History Month, let's try Martin Luther King and see what one of the articles looks like. At the top, you can filter by results. You can narrow or look for other subject topics to search by. So let's open one of these up to show you what it looks like. And at this point, you can print the article, email it, save it, go back and refine your search in any way. So up here is the citation information. And as you scroll down, you have the full text article. Use the button to return to Badger link, and you'll return to the list. Also of interest is the Novel List site. Here's an opportunity to find other reads on your topic. Let's say you just finished a book and you really would like to find another book like it. You can search here under the recommended lists. Let's say science fiction, for example, that's a very hot topic these days, especially dystopias. The Hunger Games series fits under this heading. So it allows students to find additional books in that genre.
There's also a novel list for K through 8, as well as a kid's search and searchosaurus. That would be helpful at the elementary level. Take a look at searchosaurus. So subjects here, fun facts, it shows other top searches, and then you can also just type in your keyword. For here we actually have to close out and go back to our main page and go back into Badger Link. The ECB video link offers video browse either by title or topic and I'll open one to show you what it looks like but my practice run uh, showed that the video did not show up so you would just come down here it gives you a series description the length the episode and then to view it you would just click on the watch now so helpful information also let's take a look at sounds abound since it's also provided through ECB video link and this is a site where you can locate royalty free music students can use in any of their projects You're able to browse by artist or category. Let's just take a look at artist to see what it looks like. And then it provides you the artist's name. They hire various musicians. A lot of the music sounds like many, much, much of the popular music that you would hear today, although it isn't done by the original people. So you can play it, and then you can download it into any project that you're working on. Again, for Sounds Abound, we have to close out and return to the Badger link. So that covered the video link and Sounds Abound. Another source that we like to use is the Encyclopedia Britannica. So as you see here, there are different editions. For middle school, of course, we search the middle school edition. Although the high school edition does have more in-depth articles and covers more subjects. So for our purposes, let's just try tornadoes and do a search. You see there's other things going on here. You can take a look at any of these on the right or underneath and follow those links also. On the right hand side there's additional content having to do with the topic that you searched and multimedia. So we'll just go right into tornadoes and take a look at the article. Here it offers an opportunity to expand your search. You can view any of the animations. On the left hand side, an index of the topic. You can also double click on a word to find the meaning, which is helpful. And then at the bottom, students can simply copy and paste the citation into their Word document. There's a high school edition and an elementary link from this page. So we also have to close out of this page and then return to the Badger link. link. So at the bottom I'd like to show you one more feature and that is teaching books. The state of Wisconsin attempts to contact children and young adult authors who come through the state and do a, either an audio interview or a video interview if that's possible. Nice features here. This Jack Gantos offers a recording um, of him reading the book, a link to his website. 
there's usually an author of the week and other highlights within the site. Awards, any of these are linked and easy to look at. So let's just do a popular middle school author who is Margaret Peterson Haddix and show you what you can find for her. The author programs, we could actually go and see all here. So it offers her personal website, looks like a blog here, a video, a couple of scholastic videos. And then as you go down, there are book guides to her novels. and other links. So you can either do search again, or let's go back up, and as you see there's author programs, book guides, and other links that you can look at. So that finishes our little tour of Badger Link. Please contact your library media specialist to get the passwords and usernames for any of the online online resources at your library. Thank you.